welcome back to Hale's World and I have some really cool things to show you about the AirPods Max. Quickly starting off with some nifty gestures and controls. If you click this little button right over here, it actually toggles between noise cancellation and transparency mode. You'll also hear a sound in your ears when that happens. Then to adjust the volume, it's super easy. You literally just adjust this crown dial and I've also got something really cool to show you about that later. Then using the same dial, if you just click it in, you can pause or play your music. And if you get a phone call, again, you can just click it in, speak through your headphones. Quality is great, by the way. And when you're done, you can just click it again to hang up. Then if you're listening to music and you push down twice on the crown button, it'll skip forward a song. And if you push down on it three times, it'll skip back a song. So the build quality of the AirPods Max is absolutely amazing and you probably already knew that you can remove these ear cups thanks to the magnetic design. What's great about this is if there's some wear and tear on your ear cups, you can go ahead and buy a brand new pair and they come in these different colors. But now for what you may not have known is this little hole right over here actually allows you to remove the headband from the speakers by using a SIM ejector tool. So you just pop it in there, you'll feel a click and bam, just like that, the speakers have have been removed from the headband, which is so cool. And the reason this is super epic is because this might indicate that Apple will allow you in future to replace the headband if there's any damage. It may even be that third party companies start making cool custom headbands for us to accessorize with and try out. Now for such expensive headphones, you definitely want to make sure these puppies last and don't get damaged. So that's where these come in. You may notice that when you take the AirPods Max out of the smart case, these metal pieces knock together and in time they will wear and tear. But with these see-through silicone bumpers, you just quick and easily pop them on your AirPods Max and like that they will be protected and definitely not get scratched. You can also get different colored silicone cases. So if you're not for that see-through vibe and would prefer custom colors, then definitely check out these silicone cases. Another thing that often happens with headphones is they just get dumped on your desk. But with this ridiculously simple accessory, you can display your headphones so nicely and of course look after them by hanging them up. Then if you're on the go and travel with your AirPods Max, consider getting a hard shell case like this. It is super soft inside and as you can see, the AirPods with the silicone bumpers and smart case all fit inside perfectly. And because of that hard shell case, your AirPods will be really protected. What's great about all these accessories is that they are super affordable and will make your headphones last for years. With the AirPods Max, you can share your audio with friends if they also have a pair of AirPods. It's really simple and all you do is once your AirPods are connected and your friends have their buds ready, then go ahead, grab your iPhone and swipe down on the control center. Then you're just gonna click on this little icon and right over here, you will see both pairs of AirPods. And if you just tap on them, these two little ticks appear and that is literally it guys. Now that they're connected, you can jam your favorite tunes or even listen to media from Netflix or YouTube YouTube, you name it. And right over here, you can control the volume of each individual pair. Or if you go back to the control center and click and hold down on the volume toggle, you will see both pairs here once again, where you can control their volume separately. So remember to share with your friends, guys. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, then don't forget to sub to the channel because we're on the road to 1 million and a sub would be amazing. One of the cool things about the AirPods Max is you can actually change the direction of the crown depending on how you prefer to change the volume. So whether that's clockwise or anti-clockwise, you decide. So to do this, all you do is head on over to settings and under Bluetooth, click on this little info icon right next to your AirPods Max. Then if you scroll down, you will see digital crown right over there. Tap on that and in here is where you can choose back to front or front to back to change the volume direction. It seems like a pretty small thing but you'll be surprised at your own habits when you realize you do have quite a specific way you like to turn the volume. Did you know there are a ton of different ways to check the battery percentage on the AirPods Max? The first way is by heading to your home screen, long pressing and then clicking on that little plus icon. Then just scroll through all your widgets until you see this one that says battery. And in here, just choose the widget you want. So the longer one does display the percentage and now in future, you can just check it out. 
Then another way is every time you remove your AirPods from the smart case, you'll see the battery percentage pop up right over there. Then if you have an Apple Watch in Control Center, if you click on that little icon and connect to your AirPods Max, then head back to the Control Center and scroll up until you see the battery percentage, tap on that and right over here are your AirPods Max. Finally, another nifty way to know your battery percentage is when you plug them into charge, you will see the little LED indicator. Green means above 95% and amber is below. Now here's a pretty cool little sneaky feature that you can do with the AirPods Max. So if you head into the control center settings and scroll down until you see this hearing option, make sure you toggle it on so that it's added to your main control center. And then when you head on over to the control center, you'll see it right over here. And if you click and hold, then tap live listen on, what this does is it actually picks up the audio from your iPhone's microphone. Then what you can do is place your iPhone anywhere, pop your AirPods Max on and hear what is being picked up by your iPhone's microphone. It's pretty sneaky. So so just be careful if you ever see any iPhones laying around. Obviously, one of the worst feelings is losing or misplacing your tech. So if that ever happens with your AirPods, head on over to the Find My application, click on your AirPods Max, and then right over here, you will see the option that says Play Sound. Then of course, just listen out to see if you can hear your AirPods, but also do keep in mind that this will only work and you will only hear a sound if your AirPods are out of the smart case. Then this has got to be one of my favorite features and it's automatic switching. It is beyond useful and let me show you why exactly. Say for example, I'm watching a YouTube video and I've got my AirPods on. Of course, the audio would be coming through my headphones, but if I go ahead and pick up my iPhone and access Instagram or Spotify, whatever it may be, and I start playing something with audio, instantly you see this little pop-up appear and that means the audio is still playing through my headphones even though it's now coming from a different device. And the same goes for my iPad. It'll instantly switch to my iPad's audio and keep playing through my headphones and not out loud. This is so much better than having to reconnect devices every time and I love it. One of the coolest experiences you have to try with these is the spatial audio, which is actually pretty amazing. You do have to make sure this is activated, so head on over to the Bluetooth settings and click on this little info icon next to your AirPods Max. Then scroll down and right over here, you will see the spatial audio toggle. Tap on that and if you click here, it'll actually show you how it works. There is a very big difference between stereo audio and spatial audio, and the best way to explain it is when you listen to music or media through your headphones, Phones, usually if you turn your head the music will follow with you just like this but with spatial audio it actually sounds as though you're in the room of where the audio was recorded and gives the sound so much depth and dimension you can also easily access the spatial audio just by heading to the volume settings within the control center and right up there you can toggle it on or off Finally, there are a ton of different audio quality settings you can customize when it comes to the sound of your AirPods Max. Under accessibility in settings, you will see AirPods, then select your AirPods Max and right over here are a couple of simple settings, but if you click on audio accessibility settings, you can customize a bunch more things and then from there, even go into headphone accommodations and customize even more settings. I actually did this myself and found it to make quite a difference and super useful. If all that is not enough, you can even do a custom audio setup where it runs you through a hearing test to make sure you have the best audio setup at the end of the day when it comes to your AirPods Max. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more tech tips and tricks, then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!